Anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL tears, are known to disrupt knee stability as a result of an increase in anterior tibial translation, or ATT. ACL reconstruction, or ACLR, helps restore knee stability, thereby reducing the risk of osteoarthritis. However, increased ATT in posterior tibial slope, or PTS, can exert stress on the reconstructed ACL, resulting in graft failure or re-rupture. Notably, ACL stress radiographs are an effective and accessible diagnostic tool for the objective assessment of ACL tears and graft integrity, which may not be achievable through clinical examinations and magnetic resonance imaging. However, their precise correlation with biomechanical changes and the need for additional treatments remain unclear. To this end, researchers from the United States of America conducted a retrospective study to evaluate the bilateral ACL stress radiographs of 72 patients with primary ACL or ACL graft tears. They measured the baseline tibial position, or BTB, in relation to the femur and healthy knee, and ATT in the ACL injured knee, and calculated side-to-side -side differences, or SSD, as the difference between the two measurements. In addition, they used the anatomic tibial axis to obtain PTS measurements. The findings revealed a significant positive correlation between increased PTS and an increased interior BTP for ACL intact knees, and increased SSD and ATT for ACL injured knees. A significant increase in SSD of 1.73 millimeters positively correlated with an increased PTS in ACL injured knees. Additionally, ACL injured knees with a PTS of greater or equal to 12 degrees and chronic ACL tears had significantly higher mean SSD and ATT compared to those with a PTS of less than 12 degrees or acute tears, respectively. Overall, these findings suggest slope-reducing osteotomies or anterolateral complex augmentation procedures may be recommended to reduce graft failure in patients with increased ATT on ACL stress x-rays and an elevated PTS of greater than or equal to 12 degrees following primary ACLR.